Hi, this is Tracy Davis with MySuccessZone.com, MySuccessZone.com. Thank you so much for watching this quick, quick video. Now I come on frequently sharing business tips, so if you are interested in more business tips, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll pop up and let you know some great things to help you build your business. You know, one of the things that my clients ask me about constantly is how can I get new leads? How can I get new leads? Well, one of the things that I really, really emphasize is the no like and trust factor. No like and trust. In other words, people like to do business with people that they know, they like, and they trust. Okay. And so going in their inbox and DMing them and, you know, harassing them with your links, that's not going to work. It's going to get you blocked. Okay. So this is a tip I feel that if you take it to heart, it can really, really help you build your business. Okay. So what you want to do is develop those relationships develop the no factor, develop the like factor, develop that trust factor. Well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, by being genuine, okay? Liking a person's post, for an example, commenting on their post, real comments, not the bots that we see everywhere. And everybody knows a bot, okay? I'm talking real comments where you just take out a portion of your day to genuinely comment and like and, and, and develop relationships, okay? So if you're doing that, a person is going to notice you. Okay. Now, just because they notice you, it doesn't mean immediately go and DM them. You have to be patient when you're building a real business, right? So what you would do is you're liking, you're commenting, you're liking, you're commenting. You're not being annoying, just liking and, and giving real comments, right? And then maybe um, you see something that the person has a beautiful lip color or that was a gorgeous dress and a particular uh, service that you have would we'll compliment that. Right? So what does that mean? Go in their inbox right away and say, Hey, I have this lipstick that look great with your dress. Nope. You can go in their inbox and say, I noticed your dress. It's really, really pretty. Um, I thank you so much for all the positive posts that you post. I look forward to them every day. Uh, have a good, have a good Friday, have a good day. And that's it. That's it. Right? So they're seeing that you're a real person. They're seeing that you're not annoying, that you're not harassing them and they're noticing. Okay. So the next time you see something cute or you see something that you know that you can uh, service them in a certain way, you can go in their inbox and say, Hey, I noticed um, that you really seem to like a lot of yellow. I actually have a, a lip color that I'd like to share with you, or I, I actually have a service that I think can make it look even better or whatever it is that you do. Okay. You can phrase that in the best way possible. Okay. But what you're doing is saying, I can compliment it. Would it be okay if I shared some more information with you? Are you open to hearing a little bit more about that? See, you're easing your way in as opposed to being ugh, in their face. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. But if you're developing a relationship, it's real. You're showing up. You're being consistent. You're laughing at the memes that they post. You're complimenting and saying, cute kid. Oh, you know, that blessed me or whatever. And it's real because people know real. People know real. Flat out, okay, a real legitimate compliment as opposed to this person just trying to get to me. So make sure you're real. You can even keep notes of it. Hey, I talked, uh, complimented Sarah on Monday. I mean, it's a business, I get it, okay? And if you don't have an ad budget, then you're gonna have to do things like this, but you're going to have to be strategic about it. So you'll keep a note, I complimented, um, you know, whatever, so that you can kind of keep tabs and then you can ease your way into the inbox, give another compliment or whatever. And then when you feel that the conversation is flowing enough, then you can actually say, Hey, you know, I actually sell coffee and I would love to be able to send you a sample. Are you open to that? Or, you know, whatever it is that you, you know, you serve as I actually am an author. I, I I'm actually taking in new students. Is that something you would be interested in? right? You're asking questions and waiting for responses. Okay. So anyway, I don't want to rant and rant and rant. I just wanted to share that with you as you're building towards, you know, getting new clients, getting new leads. Now the next video, we'll probably talk about some paid ways, but if you're a person that wants to grow organically, then you're going to have to set aside some time, build those relationships. Because again, if you don't remember anything else that I say, people like to do business with those that they know, like and trust. It's up to you to build that however long it takes. All right. This has been Tracy Davis with MySuccessZone.com. MySuccessZone.com. Click the link below for more free tips, free lessons. Uh, in particular, there's a lesson where I share three things that changed my life overnight. All right. Once I implemented those three things. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe.